several events and activities that took place throughout our region, including right behind me in front of the Capitol steps. Now, earlier today, that area was just filled with music, love, support, all aimed to really elevate Juneteenth. Marching through the streets of Sacramento, <laughs> dancing, holding signs, and filling the air with positivity. And so we wanted to celebrate Juneteenth, so we started off today with some West African drums at Celebration Arts just to put some energy in the air. And then with the help of Element Brass Band, we strolled through the streets to activate our streets in a positive way. That's how some community members in Sacramento honored the journey from slavery to freedom. Its origins date back to June 19, 1865, when the last group of people enslaved in the southern U.S. were informed of their freedom under the Emancipation Proclamation. I'm excited that we finally live in a world where Juneteenth is celebrated. I didn't think I'd ever make a time when, when we as a country would decide that a federal, federal holiday was going to be uh, a way to observe the day that, that people of African ancestry didn't have to work for free anymore. That's what it's all about for me. It's a play on words, June and 19, and many Americans have celebrated annually for more than a century, even though the holiday wasn't an official federal holiday until 2021. But the blessing is it's a federal holiday and we're celebrating Juneteenth here at the California State Capitol once again. Dozens of people making their way to the Capitol steps, elevating their voices and remembering the sacrifices of those who became before them. Oh, it means the world because it's the, the beginning of us being here and being able to um, enjoy America just like everybody else. We're still in a fight. We still need to keep thriving to be equal in every aspect of life. It means everything. It, it means everything because we can acknowledge a that there was a, a struggle and acknowledge that the movement forward that we've come to now. And along with all of those celebrations that we just saw, there was also a resource fair to be able to connect community members with different resources available. Not all of these celebrations are expected to take place next year. Live at the Capitol, covering local news that matters, Kimberly Cruz, Fox 40 News.